Hello there, this is going to be a general love reading for all signs, honey. Because that's what we're gonna do. <sighs> My God, Neptune is going to be going retro at any second. I think it's like on the 30th, but we all feel it now. What is? What does that mean when Neptune goes retro? You know how when you're underwater and everything's really distorted and you're not seeing things for really quite what they are, you're seeing it for the illusion of what you want it to be? Like if you're underwater, it's very difficult to gauge how close something is. Things may look a bit more dreamy underwater. Well, imagine when you come up from water and you see things for reality. That's what Neptune in retro is going to be. Coming up from the water and seeing things for what they really are and not for what you want it to be. So this fairy tale or this idea of something is not exactly what it is and someone's about to see that it's just about the reality holy shit the clock tower countdown midnight hour perfect timing it's like new year's we, we keep saying that it's like it's like you know you can't go by the gregorian calendar right oh it's january 1st on january 1st no, it feels like June and July is the new year, right? It's going to be different for each of you because the timelines are all different. But June and July, it's kind of like December and January. And, and depending on where you are in the flow, is going to be just a different feeling of that for you, right? Is it June was your December? Is July your December? I don't know. But we know that July is going to be a magical month filled with miracles and destiny and serendipity and... And, and, and it's going to be super auspicious and really lucky and pigs are going to fly, right? So it's like the countdown to something big. It's like a countdown to a big reveal. Three, two, one, lift off. Bitch, the crow. The crow is omen, magic, and announcement. Isn't that kind of like an announcement counting down? Three two one boom lift the fucking lift the curtain it's a fucking reveal whatever this is is so fucking obvious it cannot be denied look at the picture itself it's actually the picture i chose for the the deck itself for my midnight hour but see how gorgeous it is it's like the crow the announcement of this is so in her face it blows her fucking back boom whoa it's so in your face it's so obvious it's, it cannot be denied you have a feeling i mean if you just look at the picture it's like even if she wanted to avoid this crow or this announcement or this communication or this connection of whatever it's in her face it can't be denied it came in and it fucking blew her right over that's how big this thing is going to be it's so huge it blows her back like infinity union that's the first fucking word on the card it's union abundance and eternity it's fucking union why because you bitches have been doing work on yourself at least you should have been and bitches is in union with themselves meaning like attracts like now you're going to be attracting people that are also in union with themselves it's a fucking divine union spiritual connection no wonder it blows her the fuck back because this is unheard of where are these Bigfoot Yetis that we've been looking for? The Sasquatches? Nowhere. Where's the unicorns? Nowhere. We look in the mirror, we see them. Where's everybody else? We don't see them. Imagine the fucking unicorn comes in and she goes, whoa. It's a fucking Yeti sighting. It's a goddamn Sasquatch, bitch. Right? That infinity. Look at that. And a lot of us have been seeing eights nonstop. I've been seeing it non-fucking-stop. Eight 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 zero eight eight zero eight 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 eight. We've been seeing it non fucking stop. Eight is abundance, money, financial flow, wealth. Right, being in that flow of that shit. But it also is indicative of something that's eternal. It does. It doesn't end. The end is the beginning. The beginning is the end. Is that quite symbolic of what the spiritual connection is? It. It. It's. It's just another lifetime with this fucker again. Because it, it's every fucking lifetime. Past life. Yeah, I'm sure the fuck it is. It's what we just talked about. It's not the first rodeo. In 
instant connection, unfinished business, soul recognition. Yes. Yes. Now, that's going to blow your fucking mind. This is like, the bitch is like mind blown. She's like, holy fuck. It's you. So, now, the, the mind blowing part could be, is it a brand new person you meet, but it's uh, not the first rodeo? Souls are very old friends. Okay, yes. But the point in this is it's so fucking shocking and it's so holy shit. It's so in your face. It's, it's, it's like this. It's like this. You guys didn't meet by accident. This is not an accidental encounter. This is not an accidental connection. Let's say you've known them ever since you were kids. Nothing ever came of it. Yet. Yeah hypnotized, secret admirer. You got me tripping. Na, 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 I'm falling in love. It's very Fergie tripping. This, they're fucking falling in love. Hypnotized, I got that yesterday in yesterday's reading. The one that was like, oh my God, they get it now. They see it now. That's my fucking wife. That's my husband. It's like instant recognition in a, in a split second. Now, whether that was a split second of initial meeting and setting eyes on each other, that's for some. For some, it's a person you've known maybe a long time, and there's this instant recognition in this exact moment. Holy fuck, it's you. And for some, they may have pined for you. You didn't know it. They may have. It may have been your best friend's brother that's always been in love with you. You just didn't even fucking know it. It's could have been your coworker, Dave from accounting. He's always been in love with you. You just didn't fucking know it. What the hell was that? Exotic. Yeah, they think that you are different. They they know damn well you ain't no you ain't no vanilla. They know it. They know that this is something. This is like I said. It's like the fucking Yeti. It's like Bigfoot. It's Sasquatch. This is unicorn. See what I'm saying? It's not just something that you can go and get anywhere. Basic. It's not common. It's not basic. It's different. Um, there could be this exotic energy to it. I don't know how. I don't fucking know. I don't know if they see you that way. I don't know. If they, I don't know. But I know that when this card comes up, it makes me feel like that. It makes me feel like it's um, very different. And it's, it's almost like, you know, for example, like um, it's spicy. It's extra tasty. You know, some people, they can't necessarily eat <laughs> Indian food. They can't eat Thai. It's so spicy. They, they don't really like too much wasabi with their fucking sushi. You know what I mean? It gives me that feeling of it's spicy. It's, it's, it's extra flavorful. It's bold. The hell is that? Healer. Whew, somebody here identifies as a healer. Now that is to be very, you got to be careful when you got a healer energy because it means that your light attracts those that need healing. There's a saying that I cannot control who I attract, but I can control who I engage with, right? If you have a healer vibe, you do attract all walks because they see it in you and they're attracted to it. They're like, oh, 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 oh. I feel like you help heal something within them. A monster within them. Some kind of a thing. You might help heal this thing inside of them they didn't even know was there. You feel this thing inside of them and they didn't even know was there. Can you imagine that? whimsical i told you it's like the fucking unicorn and there's a unicorn god damn it's like i'm psychic or something yeah i read a room bitch yeah i read the energy bitch i told you it's what it fucking is i like to just use the cards because i'm bougie and extra i'm just, because this is my pink potion oracle my newest um that i created it's whimsical i fucking told you that it's like the unicorn it's like is that a fucking unicorn no fucking ways it's not a unicorn there's no way 
I'm always the only unicorn everywhere I go. There's no fucking way that's a unicorn. And maybe it's because you've been this unicorn and you've slipped below the radar and, you've, and no one's ever really recognized you as that. And like one day they just look at you. Or one day you meet a stranger and they just look at you and you look at them and it's like, it's like two unicorns looking at each other. It's soul recognition. Holy shit. Hi. You're like, oh, hi. Well, a long time no see. Or, hi. Nice to meet you. It's a goddamn unicorn. Trapped. Someone was in a relationship and they didn't feel... It was fully it, but they bite into it. That's the whole thing about Neptune and Retro. The illusion is going gonna, is gonna to slip away. Elusiveness. It's like a joke, right? You talk about like Bigfoot being really elusive, right? And the elusive energy is on the bottom of the deck right there too. It's like a joke, but it's not. Three of Wands. Three of Wands. Three of Wands is action. It's movement. It could be travel. But that's a shield. And my God, something penetrated straight, straight, straight through that shield. It, it's, it's, you cannot fucking hide from this. You can't hide. It's so, it's, it's penetrated. Remember the crow? The crow just, woof. and then we have justice. That's Libra, but justice is about, could be, that could definitely be somebody here getting divorced or separation. Um, Justice is also about, you know, just balance. I feel like you balance each other out in this weird way. Remember the healer energy? We can't heal people, but I think that there's something inside of you, like you speak to the, the monster in them, or, or you speak to this part inside of them that, that no one else can. It's like you're the perfect key to that lock. You unlock something in them that allows them to start their healing process. Five of Swords. The Five of Swords energy is a lot of self-sabotage. It might be somebody who self-sabotages themselves. King of Pentacles, a lot of money. Someone here could be very successful. They've got the whole house, the home, but are they happy? Are they happy with this fake, 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 fake charade of, of, of white picket fence, 2.5 kids? No, they might not be fucking happy. Knight of Wands, younger fire sign. It's like someone here may have tried to ignore and, and, and block the sparks and the connection that's for some of you if they were already in something or you were they tried to deny this they tried to like stomp on the fucking flame or the spark hanged man stuck in the sun it's so in your fucking face it's almost like you just know where you can go everywhere you look it's this it's in your face it's them you go through the, oh my god it's them oh my god it's them oh my god it's them the sun is a fucking reveal neptune goes retro it's in your fucking face and you're not happy in that relationship they're not happy this is not what happiness looks like. And I'm kind of getting tired of faking it and pretending because somebody just has this moment of enlightenment. Now the sun is enlightenment as well too. It's this moment of enlightenment. And so is a hanged man. It's two cards of enlightenment. The enlightenment is, this is not what I want or this is not what I thought it was. And it could be devastating for another person because imagine, and this always happens when people awaken as you start to crack open and your vibration raises, you sometimes outgrow your partner. You can sometimes outgrow your friends, your family, your life. It's caterpillar versus butterfly. And when someone starts to become the butterfly and they crack open, they don't resonate anymore with the caterpillar life. Someone could become single. Look at that nine of pentacles if they're not already. And let's say these are two single fuckers. Still in your fucking face of oh my god that's a unicorn holy fuck that's the yeti so shocking it's like bitch holy fuck holy fuck the stepping stones process of arrival and the stork somebody could be pregnant stork is also about transformation and change it's like i literally just fucking said caterpillar butterfly Let me have a lick of this Diet Pepsi, bitch. Give me a second. My throat's parched. The stork says arrival. Right? You know how when people have a baby, the stork comes and says, oh, the stork delivered a baby. 
uh, somebody could be fucking pregnant. The grasshopper, leap of faith, prosperity, luck. It literally says birth of the sun. Is someone pregnant with the sun, a boy? Is that just not even what it is? Is it just an arrival of a person? I mean, it could be. It's just the arrival of the butterfly. Butterflies barn. Milky Way, social media. They might see you on the internet. Because Milky Way talks about internet, fame, spotlight. Somebody here could be in the public eye. Okay, somehow that's connected. And you have judgment. This is about rebirth. It literally says transformation on the card. Awakening, all the things we talked about. Enlightenment. But the transformation is someone's outgrowing their old life. just it's stressful <laughs> it's fucking stressful to even just channel it let's get a few more cards we'll get into this extended the four wands look at that the bitch is just living her best fucking life freedom living her best life this is new beginnings someone could be new newly single or really enjoying the fuck out of their singleness not looking for love, not looking to be tied down, not looking to break a happy home. No one broke a happy home. This home wasn't happy. And they pretended it was. That's all. Neptune going retro just reveals what was already there that someone put putty on it to try and like fill a crack. And that didn't work. Three of cups, look at that. It's like something written in the stars. So I told you there could be some kind of connection to somebody like in the public eye. Three of cups can be a star constellation. Something here about a prayer or a wish. Could be a really old one, like when they were young. The high priestess, yeah, very witchy. She's super fucking intuitive, really witchy. Really different from the usual type, I think, too. Let's say they go for, for bitches who ain't into shit like that. This bitch is the kind that howls at the moon on a full moon. This is the kind of bitch that be wearing her beads and her brace through her crystals. She's got a crystal in her bra. She'd be burning sage and shit. They'd be all, witch, witch, you're a witch. Don't give a fuck. There's going to be a moment in time where nothing is going to stop this. It's just, it's time and it's coming and it's gonna blow everybody's fucking mind. Boom! And just gonna be so goddamn in your face. It's going to be so fucking undeniable. Whoa. Whoa. Look at her, she's really in the flow. She's got her eyes closed, she's in the flow of trust. She doesn't go and meddle with other people's shit. She knows what's for her will always be for her. She knows that. She trusts. She trusts the timing of things. She trusts of what, what the universe gives her, shows her. It's just really beautiful. We're going to get a couple cards and then get into the extended. Remember, the only place that you can... I was going to put it away and Spirit said, don't you fucking dare. The only place you can watch the extended is on my Patreon. Click that upside down triangle below. First link is to my website, saltwaterheelstarrow.com. Second is to the Patreon. It's the only place you can watch these, honey. You also have exclusive access to all of the timeless erotic readings. Look at what fell out, the romantic feelings. I was going to put it back because I didn't like the way it fell out. And Spirit's like, don't you fucking dare. You want to try and fuck around and find out? No. Go with the flow. That's what that bitch was doing, the high priestess. She was going with the flow. Somebody here is finally going to go with the flow and not fight the feelings. They're going to embrace it. It says union in case you didn't see that. Look at the travel. 
I think it was Taurus reading, unless it was connected to this one too. I just did Taurus reading and that was all about like a connection to travel. That could be this as well too though, right? If I didn't say it already in the beginning of this, there's this energy of travel. Are we talking astral? Are we talking through the subconscious mind? So this is dreaming of each other. Did they dream of you? I just did the, the, the reading yesterday about that, right? They could have dreamt that, oh my God, you're my wife. I dreamt you were in a wedding dress and we were getting married. I don't fucking know. Is this literal? Do you literally see them somewhere random and you're like, yo, what the fuck? Hey, how you doing? I don't know. But there's a fucking connection with travel somehow. I, I mean, it could be higher selves, look, ascending higher. Remember whole butterfly thing? Yeah. Is that the travel too for some of you? It's just symbolic of them awakening. Something fucking happens and they're a goddamn butterfly now and they go, whoa, you're a butterfly. You're all like, yep, I've been one. They're all, wow, I didn't know. Or you guys meet suddenly, randomly, serendipitously, which I don't know. Let's get into this extended. Thank you for all of your likes, your shares, your subscriptions here on YouTube. Thank you for all of the donations you guys sent to my PayPal. Um, let's get into this. All right, I'll see you guys later. Love you, bye.